California digs out after the worst series of blizzards in 50 years. Roaring in from the Pacific, the storms have blanketed the countryside and halted all movement. Sometimes you have to dig for 10 feet to reach the roof of a car. With buildings nearly buried, the mailman's work becomes strenuous. Along one highway, a snow depth of almost 20 feet is measured. Below, almost hidden in the snow, lies the crack express train city of San Francisco, which stalled at Donner Pass, some 7,000 feet up in the high Sierras, while en route from Chicago to San Francisco. In Colfax, 34 miles away, nurses and other rescue workers board a relief train to go to the aid of the 222 passengers and crew members marooned on the snowbound streamliner. These scenes give an idea of the depth of the snow. The relief train finds the going tougher as it chugs higher in spite of a rotary plow in front to clear away. Donner Pass got its name, by the way, from a party of pioneers who were stopped here a hundred years ago by blizzards. There were no diesel trains to come to their rescue, and many perished from cold and starvation. Though nature has run wild here, snow is unnecessary, for they provide waters that irrigate California's farmland. Six miles from the streamliner, heavy drifts force the relief train, whose forward section can be seen ahead, to stop. Provisions for the beleaguered passengers are loaded on army weasels, which, because of their caterpillar tread, can get across the snow to the stalled city of San Francisco. The weasel is an amphibious vehicle developed during the war and since found to have a variety of peacetime uses. Here is the city of San Francisco, hopelessly blocked by snowdrifts, its sides festooned with icicles. It's been here three days with the passengers aboard. A news magazine cameraman is the first newsreel man there. For the last two days, the passengers have gone without heat. Sixty were overcome by gas fumes that are taken off on sled stretchers, but none suffered serious injuries, and they report that spirits were cheerful on the snowbound train. Then the monumental task of digging out the streamliner begins. Passengers are on their way home, but for two more days, the train lies embedded in its prison of snow. Now she moves. She's on her way. Man has won this particular skirmish in the unending battle with the forces of nature.